Okay, one minute. Within 30 seconds, I will start YouTube. Should I start, sir? One minute, one minute. Okay. One minute only. YouTube, I have started already. And uh, you can start, Dipti. <clears throat> Yes, start, please. A very good evening to all delegates, speaker, and participants present here. On this virtual platform, I, Dr. Dipti Dehre, Assistant Professor of Dayanand Science College, Latour, welcome you all for this PhD webinar series organized by Microbiology Society India. This webinar series is an online platform to share research knowledge, and it is an initiative taken by Microbiology Society India to unite all of us so that we can work together for betterment of society by exploring wide field of microbiological research. Before switching to seminar, I request uh, Dr. Swarnajit Singh uh, to encourage all of us with his valuable words. Okay, I'm very happy to be here today and I'm looking forward by, for a good talk. And uh, after the talk, we'll have some discussion. So you please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Today, we have the 30th lecture of this lecture series and Dr. Amit Kulkarni as a guest speaker. Dr. Amit Kulkarni is working as assistant professor at Department of Microbiology, Newton Mahavidyalaya, Parbhani. Dr. Amit Kulkarni has completed his postgraduate studies from Swami Ramananda Tirtha Marathwadi University, Nanded. He has wide research and teaching experience. He has published his research work in many international journals, including Life Science Leaflets, Journal of Pharmacognosy and Phytochemistry, Research Journal of Agricultural Science, and like many others. Dr. Amit Kulkarni has also presented his research work in various international conferences. That is Congregation of Nobel Laureates at IIT Allahabad, International Conference on Biodiversity at Shimla, Indian Science Congress 2017 at SV University Tirupati, International uh, South Asian Biotechnology Conference organized by Tribhuvan University, Kathmandu, Nepal, uh, 50th AMI Conference at Lucknow, and many others. He has visited many countries and cities for presentation of his research work including Bhutan, Manipur, Malaysia, Dehradun, Jalandhar, and many others. He has also attended more than 36 workshops and seminars. With this very brief introduction and permission of Dr. A.M. Deshmukh, sir, and uh, uh, Dr. Swarnajit Singh, sir, I invite today's speaker, Dr. Amit Kulkarni, sir, to deliver his lecture. Before starting a session, I request all uh, participant join here to mute your mic so that we can grab a research knowledge shared by Kulkarni sir without any disturbance. Now I hand over the session to Dr. Amit sir. Dr. Amit sir, sir you are requested to complete your uh, lecture within uh, 45 to 50 minutes. Time slot. Oh, okay, Thank okay, you. madam. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you, madam. Thank you for a brief introduction. Thank you. Uh, hello. Hello. Sir, I'm audible. Are... Yes, hello. You are I'm audible. audible sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Dipti Madam. Myself, Dr. Amit D. Kulkarni. I completed my PhD work under the supervision and guidance of Dr. P. S. Vakte. I am currently working at the Department of Microbiology, Nutan Mahavidyale, Selu, District Parbani. Today I am going to deliver my lecture on topic research work, which was about microfos. To all MSI members in PhD webinar series organized by Microbiology Society of India. And I am wholeheartedly thankful to Dr. Uh, A.M. Deshmukh, sir, for giving me this uh, opportunity to interact with her enthusiastic audience also. Uh, 
my boss so i am sharing my presentation work one minute you are a host you can share yes 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 very good one minute sir. yes sir your screen is uh, not getting shared yes no 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 okay you first okay sir. click on click on share okay sir then go on window yes sir first you open your ppt okay sir your yes ppt yes. is not visible okay sir okay so first what you can do huh yes it was it was just it was some problem okay. is there okay okay sir yes now it is visible okay correct it is visible now yes okay sir try to move try to move the ppt uh one minute sir i am sharing my ppt to madam no what's the problem i will say, tell you which is a very simple because sir a one minute sir uh, what you have to do uh, yes sir first you exit from the link okay then you open your ppt okay sir on the desktop okay right? sir okay okay sir and then you again join okay 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 sir okay again you can join yes, i will tell you very simple just minimize your uh, this current tab and open your ppt okay madam right. you can minimize or get exit anyway okay okay you can minimize your link and open your ppt first okay sir okay and then again click on the link yes okay now share click on share yes sir visible no no after clicking on share uh, if i have clicked on share yes sir then go in window okay window ha ah. one minute first click on share then go in window okay okay sir still uh, have you go, can you see window yes sir then click on window okay sir okay you will see your ppt Yes, yes sir. Yes, loading, loading now. Yes, sir. It yes. Is, okay. Is Very correct. Yes. Yes. Thank you, sir. For <laughs> thank okay. you. Okay. Proceed. Okay. Good. So, um, my research work Excuse on me. development of microfos by using alkylophilic actin acids as a efficient bi bi inoculant. So, uh, all we know about the part. that phosphor is an important essential plant nutrient is in uh, non renewable yeah. resources we can see Food, yes uh, whose availability uh, depend upon exclusion on mine rocks phosphate and uh, deficiency of phosphates uh, phosphorus in the soil result in the reduction in the food process production since all plants require an adequate supply of phosphorus for their growth and development so even though uh, through uh, synthetic phosphatic fertilizer has a play some major role in enhancing crop production but its excessive use has been also adverse side uh, sides to which where it has found that to damage the environmental and disturb soil fertility via food chain which affect the uh, human health so considering the nuisance of overuse of phosphorus there is an urgent demand
by the agriculture practitioners to find a non hazardous test strategy that can be overcome uh, the use of agriculture in the agriculture practices and hence mainly preserve the integrity of soil system so secondly due to heavy use of chemical fertilizers today soil become alkaline and fertility of soil become decreased so use of chemical fertilizer in a needs to improvement towards the integrated management of the bio fertilizers in agriculture with unprecedented presence of alkaline hypersaline soil so uh, today we need the agriculture biotechnology that is being addressed by the problem in all area of agriculture productions and the processing and this includes the plant breeding to raise and stabilize the yields so improve the resistance to pests diseases and abiotic stresses such as drought cold and today that is condition called as alkaline condition and hence enhance the uh, nutritional content of the food so we know about the bio fertilizer and their types it is defined as a biological products uh, containing living organisms microorganisms when applied to seeds plant surfaces or a soil promote the growth by several mechanism such as the increasing the supplement uh, supply of nutrient increasing root biomass or root area and increasing the nutrient uptake capacity of plant so bio fertilizer are viable microorganisms in contrast with the chemical fertilizer that are not nutrient source but helps the plants to access the nu nutrient in the rhizospheric soil zone so uh, bio fertilizer is uh, evitable agent as a soil conditional also with a viable alternative in a present uh, scenario which uh, also are ineffective in the combating the prevailing functions hence <coughs> hence it is int intended to improve modify and adapt a strain of alkylophilic phosphate solubilizing microorganisms which solubilize in soluble phosphate and in soluble form and to get utilized by the plants and crop production in a such a alkaline agriculture soil yes so uh, we know about the major role of bio fertilizers today as a supply of mixtures to nutrient then maintenance of synthetic uh, relationship maintain the microbial consortia in soil enhance the crop productions and support soil borne pathogens improve soil uh, health so these are the main role of bio fertilizer bio inoculant so why bio, bio inoculant because the increasing population day by day increases demand of food too. so improve the crop production chemical fertilizer are used extensively so use of uh, excess chemical fertilizer making the crop toxic and soil non productive hence here adopted bioinoculant is a great solution for the solve this problem so bioinoculant that is uh, we prepared as microfos is an advanced mode of for the supplying micro micro and macro nutrients to the plants so there are uh, some kind of advantages there eco friendly more productive non toxic so uh, we know about the sources of phosphate free bio fertilizer uh, discussing the part of uh, nitrogen fixing bio fertilizer phosphate free bio fertilizers so this is a report of uh, ifco indian farmers fertilizer corporation limited uh, see that the uh, today's uh, soil become alkaline having the ph 8.6 so chapters that included in my research work that is enrichment screening and isolation of alkaline phosphatate solubilizing actinomyces then identification of selected most promising alkylic actinomyces screening of their phytohormone activity then optimization of physical chemical characteristics for alkaline phosphatase productions purification and molecular characterization of alkaline phosphatase scale up and large scale production and then investigation for the testing suitability of developed isolates so objectives that are to be included to enrich and enhance the screening and these are the objectives that are based on the chapters so these are included chapters and then work on the objectives uh, also work on the objectives of uh, microfos
So microfos is a uh, vital parts of new season bioinoculant program, and it is improve the efficiency of biofertilizer use and limited leaching the losses improving yield. Here the microfos is specially designed to be used with adaptive alkylophilic phosphate solubilizing actinoarchy as an efficient bioinoculant. Here we know uh, concerned about the actinoarchy. Okay, commercial application of such alkylophilic actinic acids in the today alkaline agricultural sites. As a efficient bioinoculant, that is included in the microfos technology. So alkylic actinic acids, a filamentous bacteria, unique in their morphology with extensively branching substrate and aerial mycelium bearing the chain of orthospore, contain the substrate mycelium and spore can be pigmented, which makes the most colorful and attractive among the microbes. So, actinic acids occur widely in the nature. Only a small percent of globes and small population of actinomycetes species has been screened, and due to the major high GC content, actinomycetes survive luxuriantly in the extreme environment like a desert, glacier, soda lake, and geothermal vents. So, topics that discuss about the part of various type of harsh condition is there extreme condition that is in alkaline condition it is get survive, and the unique features are used by actinomycetes to produce the Primary and secondary metabolite, that is enzymes, then phosphate growth regulators. So materials and methodology that various steps for isolation of actinic acids and characterization of actinic acids were performed with uh, met mentioned below, morphological methods, then physiochemical methods. Physiological, then biochemical and molecular methods. So, first, a collection of soil sample. That is eight different soil samples compromising the sediment samples in the depth were collected in the winter season from the different sites in the vicinity of lunar lake craters and the pH and temperature of soil sample. These were recorded during the collections. Lunar Garden is a national geographical moment. Monuments located in the Lunar, Buldana district, Maharashtra, India, which is a salt alkali lands and soda lakes, which location, latitude and longitude. During the collection of bread, it was observed that the highest value of ambient temperature was 27.58 on the sampling sites, which is lowest observed as 25.5. And the pH of soil was found in the range of 8 to 11, that is alkaline range. And soil samples were collected in sterile uh, container and transferred to the laboratories on the same day. And physiochemical characterization of samples was carried out, out indicating the hollow alkaline habitats, which shows the alkalinity in range about uh, 100 and 1,500 to 3,000 micro million uh, liter. And high alkalinity was due to the high concentration of sodium carbonate. So here the salinity of a soil was determined in the term of both chlorine and NaCl by the argonometric methods used by standard AgNO3 as the titrant was described in the standard methods. Then second objective that is enrichment of alkaline act alkylic acids where alkylic is present in the soil was isolated by the using modified Gauze that is called a sterile gauze broth. That is a, with a 50% of lunar crater lake water sampling by adjusting the pH 10.4, and all the flasks were incubated at the ambient temperature on rotatory shaker. After the enrichment, isolated samples were serially diluted and plated on the gauze medium. That is various types of content present in the gauze medium having the adjusted pH 10.4. And it is a selected medium for the actinomycetes, alkylic actinomycetes, which is a selective medium for the phosphate solubilizing, that is a phosphate degrading actinomycetes. So, uh, methods that are used for the isolation of alkylic actinomycetes, direct method first, and then also use the soil dilution method also. That is rooting method that are used utilized for the isolation. Then screening of isolate for the phosphate solubilizing potential. Here, alkylic acids were countered by the play, uh, plating soil suspension, dilution on the gauze agar medium, and to suppress the growth of fungi 
and non mycelium prokaryotics the medium was supplemented by the nystatin and amphotericin b here the zone of clearance around the isolated colonies were observed after the incubation and the colonies with the phosphate stabilization potential was selected for the further experiment morphological culture and culture characterization also done we grow eight isolates of actinomycetes where are to be studied for the colony morphology size shape color pigmentation gram staining consistency and also microscopic features also be studied for detecting the spore chain morphology and arrangement by the uh, famous agar cover slip method so cover slip techniques for the micro morphology of filamentous alkylic actinomycetes then alkaline phosphatase assay here alkaline phosphatase assay was carried out after 24 hours of incubation and enzymes reaction consists of 1 ml of 5 mp nitrophenyl phosphate 1 ml of 10 millimolar sodium phosphate buffer ph 9.9 to 9 and 1 ml of crude enzymes extract and 2 ml of sterile distilled water then mixture was incubated at 35 degree for 1 hours and the reaction was stopped by adding the 3 ml of terminator buffer and the absorptions absorbance of uh, mixtures was measured using the spectrophotometer at a wavelength 405 nanometer and standard solutions was made using the p nitrophenol and one unit of alkaline phosphate alkaline phosphatase activity is the amount of enzyme needed to produce the 1 micromole of p nitrophenol per units here the enzyme activity was also measured after 24 hours incubation and the p nitrophenol standard curve was uh, used to calculate the p nitrophenol concentration for the phosphatase assay so a7 has shown a phosphatase promising phosphatase activity at 25 degree temperature ph9 and 1% of concentration of p nitrophenol so out of the total isolate a1 to a8 isolate showing the phosphatase activity as below respectively so here the a7 showing the promising activity among isolate a7 promising activity of about 43.3 3 unit per ml for optimum production of alkaline phosphatase enzyme and the lowest enzyme activity for a3 recorded so here a7 selected for the fur further investigation then next objective is identification of actinomycetes a7 so on the basis of morphological features like corny characterization gram staining and agar closure method cell shape spore morphological arrangement alkaline phosphatase assay was studied for the primary identification of isolate a7 then biochemical tests such as catalase methyl red test ester production test urease uh, production test starch hydrolysis nitrate reductions indole oh prosker citrate utilization casein hydrolysis test and sugar utilization test also or a performed to determine understand the biochemical features of isolate so molecular te techniques for identification of isolate up to <coughs> genus level by 16s rna gene sequencing and phylogeny studied by standard protocol and dna were isolated from the a7 and purified dna were uh, used for the 16 rna gene sequence amplification by the pcr technique and amplified dna was sequenced by the sanger sequencer and obtained the sequence were blast on the ncbi database so most matching were uh, noted down and these sequences were analyzed for the comparatively sim uh, similarities by constructing the phylogenetic tree using the neighborhood joining methods in the mega 7 softwares and screen single a7 isolates with a potential activity was identified as the show more similarity in the 16s rn sequence in comparison with the arthrobacter crystallopoietes atcc number atcc then production of alkaline phosphatase and phytohormones here well grown active culture of arthrobacter crystallopoietes was inoculated in 100 ml of gauze broth and incubated for 48 hours at 30 degree or nodal shakers 
and pre-sterilized sterilizer production media were inoculated with 10% inoculum and incubated at 30 degree for four to seven days in bioreactor. After fermentation, the fermented broths were harvested the bioreactor and proceeded for the centrifugation. So the cells biomass were separated. Then cells free supernatant of fermented broth were used for the study of alkaline phosphatase and phytohormones such as I, uh, indoleacetic acid, gibberellic acid. <laughs> the screening of phytohormones activity of arthritis crystallopoietis was done by the active, uh, activity based uh, assay spectrophotometrically and further modified for the isolated cultures in exponential growth phase. And broth media were separated in several 20 ml of fractions for indolacetic acid, gibberellic acid, cytokinin, and pseudoprobrox elevations. Here, the individual dried samples obtained were diluted in 100 microliter of acetic acid, acetonitrile water for IA determination, and methanol water for uh, gibberellic acid, and cytokinin, pseudoprobrox elevations. Production medium was shown 78.5 micro mg per ml of I into allacetic acid and 67.8 micro mg per ml of cytokinin, which is evaluated spectrophotometrically. However, the level of uh, gibberellic acid and citrophore were not optically de detected. So these results reveal that arthroactyl crystal is having the potential to produce into acetic acid and cytokinin that ultimately helped the plant for the growth and development. So considering these quantitative variations of these phytohormones, with, which has <coughs> revealed the presence of significant level of indole acetic acid and cytokinin in arth arthrobacter crystal poetis, suggested further its commercial application and use as a bioinoculant in efficient growth and development of agriculture crops is possible. Then identification of phytohormones. Here the produced phytohormones were presented for the chromatography to get an idea of number of compounds present in the fermented broth. And then identification of indole acetic acid, gibberellic acid, cytokinin, etc. with the help of HPLC. Then optimization of production of alkaline phosphatase and phytohormones. Here for enhancing the production of alkaline phosphatase, and phytohormones, different parameters such use that is pH range from the 4.0, 4.2 to 9, temperature from 15 to 40, substrate concentration, incubation period that is 3 days to 8 days of study, and different types of carbon sources such as lactose, sucrose, maltose, glucose, nitrogen source such as ammonium molybdate, potassium nitrate, urea, and ammonium sulfate were studied for optimization of production. And also cost effective media as well also used to check for the production. So arthrovector crystal void is, is then capable to produce the alkaline phosphatase and phytohormones to investigate the effect of different carbon source on the production of desired component, compound like lactose, glucose, sucrose, were uh, supplied as a core carbon source in the fermentation medium. And enzyme production va values were studied for the after incubation. Meanwhile, the effect of nitrogen source were also studied by the supplement of nitrogen source such as ammonium bulbate, potassium nitrate, urea, and ammonium sulfate in the production medium. As a core nitrogen source, desired component compound production values were studied for comparatively from all parameters studied in optimization. The cost of fermentation medium were reduced by using the cost effective media as here and comparative study for production of alkaline phosphatase. So cost effective media has been developed to repl replace the comparatively cost ingredient in selective gauze medium by using the cost effective ingredient such as soya peptone glucose medium, SPG containing the part of soybean meal, glucose, zinc sulfate, and it was observed that in modified medium containing glucose and soybean meal of SPG has yield maximum alkaline phosphatase production, confirm its possible use as an alternative medium.
Here the maximum production of alkaline phosphatase in gauze medium was 88.66 unit per ml with a lactose and uh, pot potassium nitrate as a carbon and nitrogen source, while 80.83.24 unit per ml was maximum production of alkaline phosphatase occur in the cost effective production medium, which is almost similar level of ready-made gauze media. So cost of SPG medium is also really, uh, less as compared to gauze medium, which is about 30, 34% low. Hence, SPG medium can be suggested further for its use as a media for commercial production of this enzyme. Then <coughs> next objective purification and characterization of produce alkaline phosphatase. Here, fermented broth were proceeded for uh, purification by ammonium salt precipitation. And the 70% of fractions were added to a fermented broth and stored in the refrigerator for 24 hours, to, sorry, two hours. And the precipitate of proteins were collected by centrifuge method. The obtained crude enzymes extract were proceeded for the dialysis to remove the, uh, out the ammonium salt and dialysis protein further transferred through the column to remove the and any trace Amount, amount of ammonium salt and purified alkaline phosph uh, phosphatase were studied for identification of by the SDH phase method. Here the two protein bands were observed in the purified enzyme samples with approximate molecular weight 75 kilodalton and 60 daltons. So these bands may be com cor uh, correspond to the different isoenzymes of alkaline phosphatase on non-denaturing gel. However, three Two five bands were reported to be observed in the native page of alkaline phosphatase. This reveals that the affinity color purification has given the isolation of phosphatase to maxi its maximum purity. To confirm the individual potential of these absorbector crystallities and uh, their production efficiency in bio, uh, pilot scale, bioreactor used with a 2 liter capacity and the production containing the cheap source of phosphatase and nutritional factors for alkaline phosphatase productions were designed the component that is constituent of various types of medium and the different physiochemical parameters such as pH, incubation period and substrate concentration was also studied during the bioreactor. So bioreactor method, bioreactors and method for productions were autoclaved and per regulation of procedure it's 20 to 40 mil, uh, milliliter per liter. Active culture of orthorectal crystalloidis was used as an inoculum for the inoculation in the medium in the bioreactor. After the inoculation of starter culture, the production medium was maintained at the optimum parameters via 25 temperature, 25 degree temperature, pH 9, agitation speed about 120 to 150 uh, rotation per minute. After the production, culture was harvested and processed for the phosphatase and phytohormones activity. Then pilot scale production. By using the 20 liters of food grain containers, the production media containing source of phosphate and the nutrition factors for phosphatase production was designed and optimized the parameters from the last level studies, that is pH, temperature and substrate concentration was maintained in the production. And the containers were sterilized with 0.2% of H2O2 and media for Atoclave for production per regulation practice. So after the media sterilization, it was dispersed in the previously sterilized 20 liter container aseptically after the cooling. One liter of starter, uh, starter cultures of arthrocter crystal voids was previously uh, produced in the plus, was used for inoculation in the medium. And after the starter culture, the production medium was kept in the room temperature and manually shaking with the regulator interval time for five days. After the production of culture was harvested and proceed for the phosphatase and foid hormone activity. So pot study of produced by inoculant. Here are three plants, triticum astivum, Permanent staff members, 
सर 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 सॉरी टू इंटर हेलो हेलो मैडम हेलो यस 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 सर 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 व्हाट व्हाट गोइंग मैडम हेलो यू आर ऑडिबल नाउ ओके 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 सॉरी यस so yes observation and result hello i am audible yes sir okay so observation and results here the collection of soil samples and isolation of actin mycetes ppt is visible ma'am yes sir yes sir yes so uh, collections of soil samples and isolation of actinomycetes here the soil samples were collected from the lonar lake and isolated alkylic actinomycetes then screening of isol isolated actinomycete for phosphatase activity after the you know uh, after the inoculations of all eight isolate from a1 to a8 on gauze medium agar plates isolate a4 and a7 show the maximum zone of clearance as shown in figure See here. So after the screening of bacterial culture A seven, showing the zone of clearance around the colonies. Then uh, phosphate solubilizing zone. So also study the morphological characterization of isolates. There is gram staining, slide culture method, cover slip method, hanging drop technique. Their observations and result. Then gram staining of A seven isolate showing the violet colored rods and filamentous mycelium. Observed on the agar cover slip method. Then identification of isolate. Identification of isolate on the basis of biochemical test. Here the isolate A seven were belong to actin actin mycetes. Those so they are called the catalase, methyl red test, had the S two S production test, urea, urease test, starch hydrolysis. nitrate reductions indole test citrate utilization test os proscon test these are to be observed to be studied in the part of identification of isolates then also study the sugar utilization test for the isolate a7 glucose lactose mentol and sucrose then on the basis of analysis by 16s rna sequencing isolate a7 was identified as a arthrovector crystal biosis Ultravector crystal bodies. With the help of pie diagram, uh, pie charts for five uh, analysis of A seven also done. Pie chart of. आजू बाला फोन करा सो प्रोडक्शन ऑफ अल्कलाइन फॉस्फेटेज एंड फाइटो हार्मोन्स हियर द इनोक इनोकुलम वाज डेवलप्ड एंड एडेड टू अ फर्मेंटेशन मीडियम आफ्टर इनक्यूबेशन माइक्रोबियल ग्रोथ वाज ऑब्जर्वड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पेलिकल एज शोन इन फिगर द 
the production of inoculant containing alkaline phosphatase and phytohormones using A7 and agar diffusion assay for of superdentin showing the zone of clearance. See the screening uh, table of phosphatase activity. Isolate A7 showing the most promising activity 3.3 uh, per unit per per unit per ml. Then purification of phosphor produce alkaline phosphatase with the help of ammonium salt precipitation for obtained alkaline phosphatase and then dialysis of these precipitate done. And obtain protein samples A before dialysis and B after dialysis. Then desalting the column for removing the trace amount of salt in the sample. So also done the native page of obtained proteins with alkaline phosphatase. Sorry, it is not visible. Then characterization of phosphor phytohormones by HPLC. That is the HPLC chromatograms of obtained phytohormones A with a standard indolacetic acid B. And optimization of production of alkaline phosphatase. Here pH, maximum production of alkaline phosphatase was observed at pH 9. Temperature that is 25. Degree for was the most uh, suitable temperature for the maximum production of alkaline phosphatase. Incubation period as the inc uh, incubation time increases, the production of alkaline phosphatase was increased uh, up to day 5U and therefore production decreases in as shown in figure. An effect of carbon source showing the maximum uh, enzyme uh, units with the use of glucose as a carbon source. An effect of nitrogen source, ammonium sulfate as nitrogen source gave maximum production of alkaline phosphatase as shown in figure. See here the effect of pH, uh, pH graphical represent of effect of pH on alkaline phosphatase. Then effect of temperature on production of alkaline phosphatase showing the maximum temperature 25 degree. Here is pH 9 showing the most promising effect. Then effect of incubation time on uh, production of alkaline phosphatase. Then effect of carbon source on production of alkaline phosphatase. See here the carbon source. Then effect of nitrogen source on production of alkaline phosphatase. Here, statistically designed methods, ANOVA for response for the surface linear methods. With the help of 20 runs standard. Run the part of 20 times standard. And show the activity, the model F value of 3.65 implies the model is significant for that. And also gives the lack of uh, fits values of 0 0.71 implies the lack of fits is not significant relative to pure career. So these are values that are to be uh, statistically designed by the ANOVA or response methods. So F value of 3.65 implies the model is significant. Therefore, is only th there is only 3.53 chance that model F value, this large could be occurred due to the noise. So the values that are to be designed by the ANOVA, the response surface linear method. So the graphical representation of that, that is the uh, activity of substrate, temperature, then pH, temperature, activity, substrate, temperature, pH, temperature, activity, then activity, substrate, pH, showing the part of that, it will be a graphical representation. So lastly, we summarize that the activity of per unit per ml, and with the help of study by response surface methodology designed by central composite method. So confirm the in, in individual potentials of these orthobacterial crystal bodies and their production efficiency. In the pilot scale, bioreactor was uh, you has been used with the two liters, two liter bioreactor reactor used. And 20 also a pilot scale production, 20 liter of you know bioinoculant was developed using the cost effective SGN media as shown in seven figure. Also, study the pot study where wheat, maize, and sorghum were used for the pot study of products produced microfoss, and inoculant was supplied to test pot. And after the seven days, parameter like uh, plant height, 
root length, shoot length, root weight, and shoot weight were examined as table in three. So, with the help of uh, shoot length, root length, weight of plant, weight of shoots, weight of roots, with the help of uh, wheat, maize, and sorghum, compare with the control. So, in the graphic assessment of shoot length and root length, then weight of plants, weight of shoots in a gram, and weight of root in a gram. So, pot study after seed treatment with the A7 cultures compared to the control five days. So, in the case of uh, root uh, uh, shoot length of triticum estimum and zia maize and sorghum molge are 69.44%, 68.01%, and 75.30% respectively, among which a significant increase in the shoot length were recorded for the sorghum algae because of isolate orthorector crystal boides promote the production of phytohormones, auxins, and gibberlin, which result in the highest shoot length. Here, the required amount of phytohormone or observed shoots length of plants is 78.5 micrograms per ml auxins and 67.8 micrograms per ml cytokine. So, among which roots length of trichomastium is highest because of isolate arthrobacter crystal boides promote the auxin production and it is necessary for the gravita gravitropisms and phototropism of roots and shoots as well. Average plant growth of trichomastium, zia maize and sorghum are 31.69, 29.90 and 28.13 respectively. Among of these, average plant growth of trichum esteem is highest because the isolate orthorector crystal boites favor the production of auxin, showing 78. micro mg per ml, and that can be modulate plant association with the both with the pathogenic and symbiotic microorganism. Coordinately, plant, uh, plant responses associate with the establishment and maintain, maintenance of plant microorganism interactions. So, lastly, the the conclusion part of that isolation of alkylophilic acetoacids from the lonar cradle soils and detected the phosphate solubilizing activity, alkaline phosphatase, and phytohormone activity shows the important role of actinarchy in the alkaline agriculture soil. Here, the potential of produced microphos that is bioinoculant that is phosphate solubilizing alkylophilic acetoacids was examined by the pot studies using triticum astimum, zia maize, and sorghum olgate. Seeds, the seed germinations as well as shoots and root development. It was found that developed inoculant was increased the plant, plant uh, growth promoting inoculators compared to the control plant. So most of the efficient phosphate fertilizing acids were inoculated in the POTS experiment significantly improved the plant growth and development in terms of roots and shoot length. A number of branches and biomass were compared to the control. So, our results are in line with the finding reported that the inoculation of phosphate solubilizing alkylic acetoacids result in the increased dry weight of, of roots and shoot parts. Similarly, production of in the plant height, plant dry weight of selected crops. So, it was found that developed microphos bioinoculon has increased the plant growth promoting regulators as compared to the control plant. And the pilot scale productions were carried out with using the 20 liters of cost effective media, which enhanced the production rate and reduced the production cost. Hence, the last large quality of productions of microfast bioinoculant as a potent biofertilizer were successfully carried out using the Arthrobacter crystal poetis. So, future experiment that is scale up and production of phosphate solubilizing acetoacids that is liquid formulation. Then effect of bioformulations of phosphate solubilizing alkylic vector acids. Then on growth of phosphate solubilizing alkylic vector acids on the growth of wheat, that is field trial. Then statistical analysis of field data and microbial consortium. So these are references that are to be Yes. 
see the references and some kind of research paper that will publish in the various kinds of journals and i also presenting the work in various types of international national conferences also in previous yes okay thank you thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you sir thank thank you sir thank you sir for nice presentation thank you madam now yes. the topic is open for discussion and yes. if uh, among the participants if anyone have any question or doubt they can ask yes please <laughs> Yeah, it was a very good piece of work. Thank you, sir. Amit, I like your work very much. So, thank you, sir. Um, which is the best train which you isolated? Uh, hello, sir. Which is the best train which you isolated? Uh, Arthrovector crystal poiesis. That is actomasis train. That is alkaline strain. I see. So it is uh, gram positive. Yes, sir. And actinomyces, right? Does yes. it have mycolic acid? Mycolic. Yeah. Yes, sir. It contains mycolic acid. Very good. Very good. And what are the other good strains you isolated? Uh, no, sir. I am only isolating the most promising. That's showing the alkylophilic, uh, most promising alkylophilic phosphatase activity and phosphatase uh, yes. phosphate solubilizing activity. Only I am isolating so the uh, is, uh, totally eight isolates. Also isolated from okay. the lunar craters, and from that, the most right. promising is A7 isolate, and those isolate are to be carried out for the further further investigation. I see. So you have only characterized one arthro vector, right? Yes, sir. Any other strain? Uh, no, sir. I'm working on that uh, for the consortium uh, criteria. Okay, because you said you'll do future work using yes, a consortium, right? Consortium. Yes. So you use the consortium of the strains which you got, or some other? Uh, uh, some other, sir. Which you got, right? Yes. Okay. So it is very important to characterize them. It is very important to identify yes. them. Yes. Yes. You can take help of some culture collection. Okay. To, to isolate, uh, to not isolate, to identify okay. yourself. Yes, sir, definitely. You have done a lot of labor in isolating the strains. Yes. So you should preserve them properly. Yes. Okay. Uh, if you keep with you, it may be lost. Okay. Yes. Definitely. Uh, definitely. definitely. Yes, See, yes, after yes. your PhD, you may go somewhere, right? Yes. And nobody will take care of your strains. Yes. Definitely. So you must try to deposit in a culture collection. Any culture collection. Yes. Definitely. Because there are so many culture collections. I think nearest one for you is Pune. Pune, yes, sir. Uh, NCCS. NCCS. There is a culture collection in Pune. So yes. you may deposit one culture there. Okay. Sir. So that you can work after your PhD also on this. Yes, culture. sir. Yes, definitely. I mean, deposit of culture is free of charge. You don't have to pay any money. Yes, definitely. But your your culture will be secure and safe. Safe. Hmm. Definitely, sir. I'm sure. And you have to conserve biodiversity. I mean, you have done a lot of labor, did very yes. good studies. You should yes, not sir. lose the strain. That's what yes, I want to say. Because, hmm. sir, due to uh, part of the alkaline uh, conditions or called heavy use of fertilizers, chemical fertilizers, right? Uh, more or more the soil become alkaline in conditions. So yes, we are yes. concluding the part of adapter strain that have to be adapted in the those type of environment, that is alkaline environment, and we are so using for that for as a bioinoculant. So it is more important because yes. it is uh, high pH. Yes, high pH. Not not acidic, but it is alkaline pH. Alkaline what is pH. the pH? What is the pH of your culture? Uh, oh, it's a part of uh, eight or nine. Uh, uh, ten point four is a part of uh, lunar crater, sir. That is pH of okay. uh, lunar crater. Right. Yes. And ha, uh, and the part of na uh, eight uh, for the ten for eight, eight to eleven range. So they are right. tolerating part of alkaline range. Very good. So, what is the application of your work? So uh, today, uh, apl applications for the part of as a uh, best potential bioinoculant or called as best potential adapted bioinoculant due to uh, use of uh, chemical fertilizers 
Uh, today's bio fertilizers are to be uh, not vi viable for that because they are not tolerating the that type of alkaline conditions. So I right. am using uh, such a type of bioinoculant that are to be already uh, adapted for that alkaline environment and to be they right. are suited in the soil and uh, promoted growth of the plants with the help of their uh, phytohormones activity and PGPR activity. That's right. Yes, I can tell you one very good method for preservation of your strain. Yes, you can sir. use a 10% glycerol. Yes, okay. 10% glycerol and you okay. preserve in minus 70 degrees centigrade. Minus. Okay, okay. That is the best method. Yes, sir. In your lab, you have minus 70? You have minus 70? Uh, no, no, sir. That is the thing. That's why you must deposit to a culture collection. <laughs> yes, definitely uh, I, will, I will do that, sir. Yeah, you should do that. Very good. Your work is very good. Thank okay, you very much. Sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you for thank kind you. attention. Thank you, ma'am, for your kind attention. And thank you, Dr. A.M. Deshmukh, sir, for giving me a, uh, such gave me a, such a wonderful chance and enthusiastic very audience. Good. Thank you. Amit, it's a good presentation. Can I talk for a while? Hello. Yeah, yeah. I'm Hamida. Yes, Hamida. yes, ma'am. Nice presentation, but and, uh, am I audible? Yes, yes, ma'am. You are audible. Yeah, yeah and actually because uh, the matrix sir is also around. The strain yes, number yes. you have given like is ATCC because of the yes. uh, phylogenetic relation or yes. I mean, the core yes. relation. Yes. But I think because it's an Indian uh, culture, uh, okay. I think sir can also give a comment or suggestion. I think we should give our own strain number. Okay, okay, ma'am. Yes. Because uh, when we because maybe the correlation uh, when you do the analysis or the I mean, I mean the data submission maybe you have got closeness to that strain, but okay. I think uh, always uh, based on your lab or lunar lake we can do out because it will have an identity of strain number. So I okay, think okay. Uh, uh, that is a good. I mean, I mean yes. thought can just uh, think our sir can also comment on that. Yes. Yes. Mm, yes. yes. It is better yes. to have your own number. Okay. Definitely. Yes. Mm. Okay, thank so, you. Amida, Amida is from Hyderabad. Amida Madam. Yes. <laughs> yeah, from Usman Yunus. Yes, Usman Yunus. Yes. yes. She's a very, very active research person. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. Any other participant if you want to ask questions? Yes. They can ask. If there is no more question, then Dipti, you Thank can you. conclude. Yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank uh, you, sir. It was successful presentation by Dr. Uh, Amit Kulkarni, sir. And uh, there was a nice interaction with uh, Singh, sir, and uh, Hamida, ma'am. So uh, uh, with this all, I I am very much thankful to Dr. Yes. A.M. sir, for giving me an opportunity to host this yes. program. I am also thankful to Dr. Amit sir for giving nice presentation and participating uh, in this activity. So, and also, uh, I am also thankful to Swarnajit Singh sir for giving yes. his valuable suggestion. Yes, very sir, um, for young researchers. <laughs> this, uh, I conclude this program and with the permission of uh, President, I uh, uh, announce that this program is over. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Dipti, for the nice conduct of this <laughs> yes. event. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very, very nice, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dawn. <laughs>